we see the world changing going from what we call binary authentication, where you use a, a pin code or a password to authenticate yourself, to a world where, where authentication is really gonna move into the background. We're gonna be able to use things like biometrics or your location or device ID or a combination of those to authenticate you hopefully in the background, where it's going to be very rare that you've got to do something to authenticate yourself. I, I imagine a world where we've authenticated you with your permission hundreds of times a day in the background, so when it's time to actually make a transaction, we already know that it's you, and, and you can has, have a very seamless payment experience. So we spend a lot of time um, thinking about the future of authentication, and biometrics will be a part of it. Swipe is and what we do is we're all about making convenience secure. So what we mean by that is that if you look at the payments ecosystem, if you look at the, the way the banks are interacting with their consumers, uh, typically security uh, has always been seen as this sort of big bad nemesis. Uh, it's kind of a drawback between having a more secure solution or interface or a less convenient uh, solution or interface. So what we've tried to do is to find that sweet spot between security and convenience where the consumer uh, and the, the person that's actually using the technology doesn't have to think about the security element of it. They can just continue to use the product as they normally do, uh, but at the same time have a much more heightened uh, security uh, that goes along with it. So it shouldn't be a drawback. If you look at, you know, just five years ago, uh, we were all walking around with unlocked phones in our pockets because it was too cumbersome to actually enter the pin in the phone. And so now people are completing uh, authentication uh, hundreds of times a day with their fingerprints or through facial recognition, and they, they aren't even thinking about it. That's, that's the beauty of biometrics is that it allows the interface between you as a service provider or a bank to make that experience with the consumer much more seamless, much more frictionless. And this is where we see ourselves really kind of developing in a niche part of the, uh, the ecosystem. Well, I think the, the key there is that it's about finding out what you're really good at and then developing that much further. And we've been very fortunate. We've been around since 2009 uh, developing the solution, developing our technology platform. So a big misconception that people make about Swipe is that we're a card company. We're actually a, we're a technology provider. We have uh, two very unique systems working very uh, close together in that we have a biometric algorithm a solution that works uh, seamlessly with our power harvesting solution, which allows our technology to be embedded in multiple forms and uh, devices. And, uh, and that's what makes us quite unique and allows us to partner with many people within the ecosystem. Visa, as, as the largest payments ecosystem, has to support both. We've got a network of you know, more than 16,000 banks, most of whom have legacy infrastructure, as well as all these new players, including the fintechs. And, and I think you know, Visa's had to learn itself, and I think the industry has to learn how to work at two speeds. You know, we have this legacy infrastructure that may be moving a bit slower than, than some newer technologies, but it's foundational to the security and soundness of everything that we do. And so, and banks are the same way. So we have to work at that speed, which means probably slower development, less releases, um, you know, a really kind of serious risk model at, 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 the, at the base of it. And at the same time, we have to open up our networks, focus on rapid co-creation, centered on human-centered design, API-based, fail fast, iterate, you know, quickly. And that's the second speed that we all have to work at. And so the, the way Visa thinks about innovation is, is that we protect our core business and support our core infrastructure and our partners by working at that, that original speed. And then we also develop new muscles, new capabilities, new approaches to work at the second speed so we can at least develop quickly new services and see if they're gonna scale. And I think the whole industry's challenge is, is to, to begin to, to work at two speeds. So what we're working on now is to finish the process of getting our technology in the form factor of a car to market. Uh, we expect that to be happening over the next uh, 12 months. And we're very focused on getting uh, our application integrated into other devices. So we're working on wearable products, we're working on IoT devices. Uh, we've been very strong in access control and we expect to have uh, continued uh, activities in that area as well. So. Uh, it's all about who you partner with and how strong your partnerships are and we are fortunate to have very strong partners in the industry 
uh, from the bank side, from the uh, manufacturing side, and, and both upstream and downstream that allow us to really get our technology in place.